This is War Thunder, and this is Ace Combat. Both games let you fly jets like the F-14, but apart from that, they don't have a lot in common. In this video I will compare War Thunder with Ace Combat 7, and highlight the differences in price, graphics, realism and planes. First of all, it's important to know that War Thunder also includes tanks and boats, even though no one cares about naval battles. Seriously who plays that shit? But Ace Combat only has Gen 3, 4 and 5 jets. War Thunder doesn't include 5th Gen jets, but if you want to fly planes like the Spitfire or the P-51, you should choose War Thunder. Even though War Thunder includes more planes than Ace Combat, you might still prefer Ace Combat. In Ace Combat your starter plane is the F-16, whereas in War Thunder you need to grind the game for months or even years to get the same plane. Ace Combat has a tech tree system somewhat similar to that of War Thunder, but it's a lot easier to grind and you'll be able to fly an F-22 in no time. If you want to get into jet action fast, Ace Combat is the better option. It's true that these games share some planes, but you can't compare Ace Combat's F-16 to War Thunder's F-16. War Thunder does a very good job at simulating the physics associated with flying a jet plane, which makes it a lot more realistic. In Ace Combat you'll be able to do stuff you would never be able to do in a real plane. Most people prefer the realism of War Thunder. About the graphics. Both games look good in their own way, but in my experience Ace Combat looks better on lower end PCs or laptops. To make War Thunder look good you need better PC specs, but Ace Combat looks quite good with slightly lower resolution but cooler visual effects. Now, onto the most important differences. War Thunder is a multiplayer game. There is no real single player mode. The game is about killing other players to get better planes. Ace Combat has an awesome campaign with an awesome story. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. When you get tired of the campaign mode, there is also a multiplayer option. In both modes you earn money to buy better planes. Now, the price. War Thunder is free to play. But one might say that the game isn't really free, because you need to pay money to have an enjoyable experience. Ace Combat is 60 euros right now, which is expensive, but if you wait for a Steam sale, you can get the game for a fraction of the price. In the end it all comes down to your preferences, and I hope this video helped show you the differences between the two games.